Hey guys, this is Rob, aka Anomaly, back for another video review, guys. Uh, this is uh, for a piece that uh, is a, from a cult classic 80s horror flick uh, called The Burning. Uh, I believe it came out in 1981, just one year before I was born. Um, was a decent movie, wasn't uh, anything uh, particularly, uh, you know, amazing at the time. Um, but it represents a you know 80s cult classic um, horror movie. So uh, this character is uh, very very interesting uh, for many reasons. One, because um, of the look of this uh, particular character, uh, given the time in which uh, it came out. You know, back in the um, 80s, it was a period of uh, like the Myers, uh, the Jasons, the Freddies. So. This guy uh, definitely had a different look from all of them. And, uh, well, I guess you could say probably similar to Freddy, but <clears throat> nonetheless, um, this is a character that I've had in my collection. I believe this is the third iteration of this, of this uh, character I've had in my collection. Um, all of them have been great. This is uh, one's newest rendition of this character. Um, 
One thing I've always liked about this character is that it uh, shows off one's customs uh, skill sets uh, very, very nicely because this piece requires, you know, obviously a lot of weathering, a lot of tattering. Um, the colors have to be on point because, it, you know, this is representative of an individual that was burnt. And as you can see, um, he has the flamethrower and all that stuff. So this is just uh, a 2022 rendition of this amazing uh, character. And um, I'm very glad to have it in my collection again. And most likely uh, it's gonna stay in this collection this time. So I'm gonna go over all the details and all the particulars and show this guy off. You guys know how I do it. So let's get, let's get cracking, all right, let's do it. All right, guys, you guys know how I do it, so let's start out with uh, the COA, guys. As you guys can see, this is uh, One's 2022 Cropsy by One's Customs. Um, don't worry, guys, it's not my light. The COA just looks very faded out. I, I'm pretty sure that was the intention just from an artistic standpoint, but amazing, amazing COA. And that's what we have here, so let's... Uh, Let's uh, move that up to the side and take a look at the figure. Since we have it in front of us, we'll just start off with the um, the shears. The shears are absolutely amazing. Um, as you guys can see, kind of zoom in and hopefully uh, we get some focus here. Cause... But as you guys can see, uh, these are probably uh, some of the, the nicest shears that I've uh, seen from ones yet. You see the little bolt there. Um, amazing blood work, ultra realistic, um, real wood. I mean, these legit feel like legit shears. Um, the very, very heavy duty, just, and sorry guys for the focus. Just very, very well done here, and they're heavy as hell. So, shout out to ones for those. And uh, we'll start out with the um, details of the mud base. Um, just a standard mud base uh, from ones. Um, beautiful nonetheless, but standard. Grass on the side, fully sculpted. Um, we got, uh, if you guys notice, we got um, boot prints. Very similar to what we saw in the uh, part seven uh, mud base, just with a different little twist and more blood, but nothing too crazy. But again, it's sculpted, so um, I'd rather have that than just a plain base. And we'll see more angles of it when uh, I turn the figure around, but let's, uh, <coughs> let's take a look at the, uh, start off with the boots. Again, you guys know I have my boot fetish. Um, these are, are a different type of boot than what he has typically used, uh, which I appreciate. Um, but the angles, I'll show you guys the side of it. I like the fact that he went with a different boot um, on this application. I, I don't know what it is about boots, but I just love boots. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, this is a fully tailored outfit from, um, hopefully my light isn't drowning and everything, the light is pretty intense. This is a fully custom outfit by shout out to one's wife. Um, everything here is custom. In the past, uh, these figures have been uh, mainly sourced, but just customized to perfection. Here is, we have a fully custom outfit. It's a lot going on with this piece because I didn't want to take um, the, you know, the pieces out of the figure hand. I just don't want to play around with this stuff, so I left everything in. So if it seems like I'm all over the place, I apologize. But since the flame is here, let's take a look at this flame effect, guys. Very similar to the H-Kills dial effect that he did on the door, but just in the flame. And I'm telling you guys, it's amazing. And it looks the part. No, it doesn't light up, but it doesn't need to. And you can pull it out of the gun fairly easy, the flamethrower, which we'll get into that in a minute. But we'll see that at the angles. It looks absolutely amazing. <coughs> So, and here is the, uh, again, I apologize if it seems I'm all over the place, this is the flamethrower, guys. This looks legit all metal, legit. Um, and it might be in some aspects. Um, it doesn't have necessarily the weight of metal, even though it does feel pretty hefty, but whatever way he made this, um, I'm not complaining, and it looks 
looks the part and um, again I've had three of these things and this is the nicest uh, variant of this flamethrower that he's done and again going in back into the tailoring you see all this tattering all this frilling and again uh, all types of colors browns reds oranges all blending together a uh, good amount of blood work um, got some grime and dirt work some tattering at the bottom I love to see all of that man this is what ones does best this is one's bread and butter right here making things look raggedy old and aged and he nonetheless uh, never ceases to amaze um, and this is what we got here guys look at all this legit looks like this figure was thrown in a fire and uh, you know, like the buttons the stitches on point um, everything is tailored very nicely to the figure not too loose, not too tight. Proportions are great. Shout out to my boy Galactables. Always keeping us informed about those proportions. I'm just fucking. And uh, this is the sculpt, guys. Hopefully the light's not drowning it out too much, but very, very gritty. I love it. Um, especially um, the eyes, which are very hard to see, but uh, I don't worry, guys. I'll take the hat off in a second. Just everything about this figure is just amazing. Even the hat, which is an actual felt hat, custom, that he made. And uh, let me, uh, get some focus issues here. Let me um, take off the, um, let me take off the hat and let me show you guys what's up. So this is how we are looking without the hat. And we'll, again, we'll see this at various angles. And it's just very, very gritty. I absolutely love the skull, I love the paint app, and I love the collar, just everything about this piece, guys. So let's take a perspective and uh, let's check out some angles of this bad boy. All right, guys, so here we are at one angle. So, like I said, I lift up the boots and kind of show you guys what we're working with here. And again, it's just a different type of boot. I like the fact that, you know, he's not just using the same boots for all his applications again. Another example of uh, the tattering and the frilling and, you know, the grime work. Everything is just exceptional. Respect nothing less. Look at that elbow over there. Look at that. That's, that's pretty cool right there, guys. And then we get another perspective of this flamethrower. Look how that looks from behind. It looks straight up industrial. Again, I don't know how he did that. <laughs> um, it's all custom, it's not sourced. You can, you can clearly tell that he made that. Um, just don't know how he did it. And again, this is the head. Um, very burnt. Again, beautifully painted. I'm not sure how the colors are coming across, how it's looking, but it's uh, good. And let's take a step back and uh, let's take a look from behind. Alright guys, and this is how we're looking from behind. Here's another look at that base, mud base. I love it. Um, again, shout out to Ones. Um, and shout out to my friends. Um, this piece was offered, and it was offered at a very reasonable price. And sometimes I feel like Ones just wants to give back. and um, So I don't think it's not appreciated, whoever's listening. But this is how we're looking from behind. And again, I love the tailoring of this trench coat. Again, not the easiest thing in the world to do, customize. One's wife knocked it out of the party. We got the metal hook. Oops. We got the metal hook from behind. And we got the, you know, the the belt, whatever those things are. Um, for the um, rope to make the coat tighter. Everything is here, guys. You know, you got the flaps. And again, as I look from behind, and again, beautifully tailored coat. What more can you ask for, guys? Let's take a look at one last angle. All right, and this is the last angle. Again, one more look at the mud base and the boots. Again, epic tailoring on the pants. I just, I love that they're not too baggy, they're not too tight. I love how they overlap the boots. Stitching, everything about it is just on point. Okay, here's another look at that flame effect. Uh, the, that gun, flamethrower gun is just, I don't want to say it's the star of the show because the whole figure is dope, but it's 
definitely one for the books, I can tell you guys that. This is how we look when I'm holding it. Again, just tons of grime. We're gonna look at the sculpt. Looking super, super gritty, super mean. Got a hole right there, so. Again, awesome figure, and uh, let's take a step back, and uh, let's wrap it up, guys. All right, guys, so that's gonna conclude the review. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed as much as I have uh, taking a look at just all the amazing details of this uh, character. Uh, like I said in the beginning of the um, review, this piece really highlights uh, the progression of one's customs uh, skill sets. Um, he hasn't made too many of these uh, uh, figures, but even from the limited amount of pieces that he's made, this piece definitely shows the progression. Um, I love the fact that it's all custom, and again, it really shows off all the weathering details, and just, again, it's just an amazing uh, job on one's part, and um, I'm very happy I was able to get this piece. So, with that being said, um, hopefully um, you guys got to check out the, uh, the update video for my uh, friends at the Stress Labs and Galactables, and I Am Toys, and um, looking forward to uh, projects that are coming out this year hopefully i'll have uh, not hopefully i will definitely have some more reviews jason goes to hell warlock maybe even some part seven action as i have two different variants that i'm still waiting for etc so just uh, sit tight appreciate the patience from everybody and uh we will get these things cracking all right i'll see you guys on the next one i'm out peace